the perfect morning routine. My perfect morning routine would be, you know, just simply waking up with panicking anxiety. <gasps> and then helping your anxiety get better by listening to a four hour meditation. Morning I am affirmations for success and abundance. So it takes you three hours to get ready? Yep, that's right. To achieve this makeup look, it is not easy. To look like Jane Park, it is not easy. It's not for everyone. It takes time, patience, dedication, and a lot of plastic surgery to get this look. Take out the plastic surgery part. It's currently, I think 12 now. I just woke up. I have to get my daily coffee. I never have to pay for anything. $35 for a latte? I think not. I think free. Take what you want and leave, you know? People think that being an influencer means that you don't pay for anything. That's not true. We sell our souls to be here. I wonder what I want to drink today. Hmm. Can I help you out? Right. Yeah, I'm looking for something that is that tastes good, obviously, but I want to diet. So like nothing like fattening, but like tastes good. Like nothing too sweet though. Um, the sugar's like not good for you. But then I also don't want like artificial sugaring because like that's like really bad for your body. I am all about taking care of your health. I've done so much research and I want to share with everyone on how to live a healthy lifestyle. What credible news outlets are you reading from? TikTok. Yeah. I'm like lactose intolerant kind of. Well, like I have days where I want to be, but today I am. So like we can use the milk that's like, like almond milk, oat milk, and gluten free is super important because I'm like watching my weight. But like, I want to taste good, you know? So like, what do you have something that's kind of like that? Uh, you want a cup of water? So I was just working my shift uh, today. I didn't really want to come into work, but I have to because, um, yeah. So you got a water and a sandwich along with LA tax fee. That's going to be $43.99. Oh, okay. Um, but I don't know if you know, but I'm, I'm kind of like famous here, so. <laughs> I do like social media for a living. I, uh, I don't know who you are. Oh, that, that's okay. Here, I'll show you my phone. <laughs> so silly. People once in a while don't recognize me. It's okay though. Yeah, I was just working when this influencer apparently walks in and she wanted to get some free stuff. Uh, she was trying to get out of paying. I told her, I was like, you, you have to pay. And she's saying that she's like an influencer or something. Um, I don't really care. I told her like, hey, you know, you have to pay for your stuff. And she kind of just took the food and walked away. I don't really get paid much, so I don't really care. I have to film this super quickly because the guy there is just going to call the cops right now. But I have a super important meeting at the head to Beverly Hills with a very important client. So I'm going to go ahead and get changed. I always bring my handy dandy suitcase with me because I never know when you're going to need a fabulous outfit change. Oh, fuck, there's a line. We have to wait, actually. I'm just going to go ahead of you. Thank you. I gotta get changed. <laughs> Fuck, it's locked, okay. I figured I'd give you a quick what's in my bag video to be the best influencer ever. So, oh, no, you're good, don't worry about it. You never know what occasion that you're gonna be stuck in or what you're gonna have to do. So I hear I have some tennis shoes in case I have to go running from the cops or something. We have my stripper heels, the more bedazzles, the better. My other costumes are here. If I want to be business professional, I'll have a nice little blazer with me at all times. Um, and of course, um, we have to get a cocktail dress because you never know when you're going to find a rich sugar daddy to take care of you. What are you wearing? My work outfit. You're going to go to work in that? Try it out. that's a little too much? I forgot you're right. Much better. Let's go. I, I, Someone actually just asked me uh, if I'm going to the airport. And I had to actually explain to them that this is... This is just how I am in real life. I just actually carry a suitcase of clothes with me for different situations. Yeah. They think it's an act, but this is this is real. Yeah, <laughs> let's go to my meeting. Jane, what are we doing here? We're at my meeting. Uh, we're at a parking structure in Beverly Hills. We're here to meet men. That's what I do by, that's my meeting. <laughs> We're here to meet men. Yeah. Do you know where I can find the Dior by any chance? <laughs> I hate it when rich guys have nice cars. I just feel like they're trying to overcompensate for like 
their lack of ability to speak to women in a respectful way. You know what I mean? asking for directions and I I'm just, just need... like really not into you so you can like drive off as a sorry have a nice day bye honestly I have no idea what just happened uh, I was just asking for directions it's my mom's birthday and I wanted to get her something nice from Dior and I you know it's the first time I've ever been here so I really needed directions uh, I know girls don't typically like being hit on when they're by themselves doing their thing uh, so I didn't really think anything of it. I just really wanted directions and I realized I can't ask for help. I don't understand why guys have to always overcome their cars. Like, they're trying to show off. Like, I would never want to show off. Why would you want to show off your wealth and your life? Oh my god. Excuse me, sir. Can you, like, pull into the spot, please? Um, are you, like, seeing anyone by any chance? Um, I'm just, like, so matter of super into all this. As a matter of fact. Love your dirty car. It's just so dirty. <laughs> Do you mind if I get your number? I'd fuck your doors locked. Do you mind if I get your number or something? No. But why not? I only date girls that wear clothes. I'm I'm wearing clothes. This is a dress. That never really happens to me. How often do you face rejection? Never, never. Uh, what about last week when you reached out to that hotel? You can't say that. Oh my god, what's that noise? I will see you never. <laughs> That's hot. <laughs> Love to it is. <laughs> god, I freaking hate women who approach me like I'm some kind of piece of meat. Can I take number now? No, you cannot have my number and you should stop objectifying me. Because I'm a human being. <sighs> He's even hotter now. <laughs> You're gonna watch me film my content of the day. What type of content? You'll see. Ooh, okay. <laughs> Back in the day, all I had to do was stand still and look sexy. Now people have photos of my feet, strands of my hair. I had to fucking package that shit, you know? This is this is an honest business. It's honest work. It's hard work. Wait, is that it? What? No, of course not. Is that all you think I do for a living? Okay, now I'm done. I can't believe girls like this. Nowadays, you know, golf used to be such a respectable, sophisticated sport. It was for the boys. And now you have girls like this coming to our courses, being loud, taking thirst trap pictures, wearing revealing clothes. It's, it's, it's disgusting. There is no such thing as living in the moment. Living in the moment? That doesn't exist. I have to record every moment for my followers so they can live my life through me. I miss the days when I could eat food while it's warm. Now it's food eats first, camera eats first. When is Megan gonna eat first? Ugh. Hey, uh, thanks for eating with me today. Next time, if you're gonna film, don't, don't invite me. Yeah, but I know. Do you want to get closer? No, no, I'm good. I I'm actually nervous for diet. Okay. Yeah. <gasps> cry? I don't cry. Crying is like for the week. I mean, they rule the world. The Kardashians. I mean, who needs a news channel, right? You just play an episode of that. They're so hip, so trendy. I love them. I want to be like them. Yeah. Is it, like this? Is this recording? Hello, hello camera world. Welcome to episode of Jane Park. Ah! <sighs> Being me is exhausting, but it has its ups and downs. I am so thankful to be myself and to live this beautiful life. And I have no one to thank, but obviously my followers and supporters. I mean, look at all the free shit that I get. 
My parents could never afford that stuff. And here we can get it for free now. That's pretty good. And, and all the friends that I get to make, all the genuine connections that I have in life. I mean, I love having a purpose in life. You guys give me that purpose in life. Without you, I would still probably be hating my life. Who knows? I might not even be here anymore. With all jokes aside, I am very grateful and so freaking thankful. It's just all jokes aside, not for all jokes. All jokes all aside. Jokes. Oh, that's my um, that's my uh, pimp that I that I hired to tell me to say. Um, but <laughs> all jokes aside. I am so thankful and so grateful to actually be me and to live this wonderful life that would not be true without all of you guys, my supporters and my haters. With that being said, I hope you enjoyed this episode of Dream Park. I'll see you next week. Bye, birdies. Bye, Bye. I hate when people think that this is all fake. No, stop. You're supposed to tell them that you want them to think it's real. Oh, okay. Got it? Can I do that again, please? Yeah, yeah, okay. Okay. <clears throat> oh my god. This is all real. Of course it's all real. My life is all real. It's not fabricated at all. Is that good? <laughs>